Alright guys, so after inviting some of you to join SFA, I noticed that a lot of you find it difficult to go through the entire sign up process. So I thought why not just make a quick tutorial to show you guys how the entire setup is done from A to Z. So first of all, you need to use either Google Chrome or Microsoft Edge to do this. So in my case, I'm using Google Chrome. You should have a sign up link from the person who referred you, so just go to the link and sign up for your SFA account. Next, you have to verify your email. Check your email and the verification should be in your inbox. Select your country and be very careful with this because you won't be able to make any changes to this afterwards. And this is the SFA dashboard. They actually also have a very clear setup guide for new members so you guys can go and check it out if you still have any questions with the setup process after watching this video. But for now, let's move on with the setup. Next, you're gonna wanna go to settings and set up your payment method first. Fill in your card details here and click save card. So for those who are concerned about giving your card details to SFA, you don't have to be worried because they actually use Stripe as their payment gateway and SFA doesn't hold any of our money or make any money transfers. Stripe is the one handling the payments. You can Google up Stripe if you want to know more. Now, it's time to set up your Nike account. If you already have a Nike account, you can skip this part. So go to nike.com and click join us. Click on join us again and fill in your details. Now go to the top right corner and click on account settings. Scroll down to find the mobile section and add your mobile number. You should receive a code on your mobile after a few seconds so just type it in. Next, go to addresses and click on add delivery address. Remember to make it your default delivery address and proceed to fill up your details. Now that your Nike account is mobile verified and with the default address, you can now add it to your SFA account. So to link your Nike account to your SFA account, first go back to Sneakers for All website. Slowly scroll down and you'll see an add or edit Nike profiles section. So for this email address, it should be the same email address you used for your Nike account. Your CVV here should also be the same with your Nike account's attached default cards CVV. And the reason SFA collects your CVV information is to autofill during checkout so you don't have to do a thing. If you don't have a default card attached to this Nike account yet, you can put the CVV of the card that you intend to use for this account. And this is actually safer compared to other bots that require you to fill in your full credit card info. And of course, if you create more Nike accounts, your chances of successfully copying sneakers will be higher. As you can see here, I have 20 Nike accounts ready to cop sneakers for me in every new drop. So obviously, I have more advantage compared to those who only have one account running for them. So, here's how you cop for shoes using SFA. First, unselect the not copying option. Then, select the sizes you want. You can select as many sizes as possible and SFA will randomly pick a size from your selection to cop. Now, just click on update and you should see this. Just click OK and you can proceed. Do remember to finalize the sizes you want to cop one hour before the actual launch time because you will not be able to edit the sizes 15 minutes before the launch time. All new launches will be loaded up to the dashboard usually one or two days uh, before the launch date. So here you can see the history of your past cops. 
Big wins are successful cops. Small wins are unsuccessful cops. So some of you might still not know what a small win is, but basically whenever one of your Nike accounts failed to cop a shoe, SFA will actually reward you with some free credits to pay for your success fees. The small wins are for you to deduct from your future successful cops, as SFA will charge a small fee of 10 to 20% of either the sneaker's retail or resale price. So let's say if you cop the 500 ringgit sneaker, SFA might charge you a 50 ringgit success fee. And if you have 30 ringgit worth of small wins in your account, your actually just paying for the remaining 20 ringgit after deducting your small wins. So to set up your SFA extension, go to settings. Scroll to the bottom of the page and click download the latest extension here. And SFA is constantly improving their system and their bots so any future updates will be available for download here as well. After downloading, you can look for the file in your download folder. Click inside to make sure everything is there and you're good to go. Next, go to the top right corner of your Google Chrome and click the menu bar. Go to Settings and click Extensions. Turn on Developer Mode and click on Load Unpack. Go to your download folder Open up the SFA file and click on select. Now, you have to open up a new tab and you should see this pop up. Click on keep changes. Now proceed to logging in your SFA account. After logging in your SFA account, open a new tab and log into your Nike account if you have not. Remember, you have to log into your Nike account for this to work. So now you should have two tabs. One is your SFA and another is your Nike account. Now, click Sync Nike Account. A new tab called an early link should appear. You don't have to do anything here, so just wait for the tab to close itself. And if you already have a default credit card saved to this Nike account, you should see ready to cop in your SFA extension here. Otherwise, you have to save your credit card into your Nike account first. So, to do that, after clicking Sync Nike Account, a new tab called an early link should appear. Copy the address right away and wait for it to close on its own. Then, create a new tab and paste the website address and fill in your card details. Don't worry, as this will only save your default credit card details on your Nike account. It will not actually purchase this item here. Continue to submit your order afterwards. Just click Sync Nike account again and another early link should pop up. You don't have to do anything here so just wait for the tab to close itself. SFA will automatically match the Nike account to the Nike profile that you created on sneakersforall.com. If you've done it correctly, your status should be true for your address found, default card found and phone verified. And you are now ready to cop. Remember to keep the SFA tab open and it will automatically check if there's a drop happening soon. As long as the extension is open, which is this tab right here, and you have a stable internet connection, SFA will automatically submit your entries when it's time. You can look at the last check time to see if you're still connected. The last check time should not be longer than 10 minutes ago. So for Windows users, don't worry. Here's a quick guide on how to do the SFA extension in Windows. After downloading the extension, look for this file in your download folder. You can move this file to your desktop, right-click this file and select Extract All. Click Extract and you should see this file. Now go to your extensions, turn on Developer Mode, click load unpacked and you should see this click the sfa file and click select folder you should see this pop up so just click keep it after loading the extension do what i did earlier and you should be ready to call so here's a little preview of sfa in action five to ten minutes before the launch time sfa will automatically start working you will first see a timer page. 
Then you will see a tab being created that's the checkout page. SFA autofilled your CVV details and it's now waiting for the launch time to submit your entry. So to check if you've copped the sneakers, go to Sneakers for All dashboard and check your big wins history. If you've won, go to Nike account and click on orders. And you should see the sneakers you've copped here. And also here's a little tip for you guys, SFA's success rate actually improves as you cop more shoes with it. That's because at the back end of their system, they are using past data to predict when is the best time to submit an entry. Therefore, your success rate increases as you cop more with SFA. This is also the reason why they are different compared to other bots in the market as they charge on success rather than a monthly or annually subscription fee. If you don't win with SFA, you don't have to pay a single cent. In fact, they give you small win credits so you don't ever take an L with SFA. That is also why SFA will make sure they do everything they can to help us win more. You basically have no risk here. So we all know that the more Nike accounts you have, the higher the chances of successful cops. So how do you create more Nike accounts without getting banned? Well, actually it's pretty simple. All you have to do is go to your browser profile, click on add to add another profile, give it a name, and repeat all the steps you just did at the starting of this tutorial. However, there are some extra steps you have to take. So I'll briefly go through and highlight the extra steps you have to do to create more Nike accounts. So first, go to sneakersforall.com and this time you don't have to create a new SFA account because you already have one. So just log into your SFA account and proceed to signing up a new Nike account. However, remember that each time you create a new Nike account, you'll need a new email address. So what I would like to do is go to outlook.com and create a new email address there. Previously, I used Gmail to sign up for more emails, but I eventually got my phone number blocked from verifying too many Gmail accounts with my phone number. So what I found out about Outlook is that they don't really ask us for a phone number verification. So after signing up for a new email, go to nike.com and sign up for a new Nike account with your new email address. And proceed to verify your phone number. Again, remember that each time you create a new Nike account, you should verify it with a different mobile number. So get a different mobile number from your dad or mom or siblings to verify your new Nike account. Now, head on to addresses and this is also very important. Every time you create a new Nike account, try your best not to duplicate the exact same details in this part. So let's say if my previous Nike account's address is number 1 Jalan Satu Dua, now what I can do differently is maybe something like number 1 and I can change the Jalan to just JLN. Basically, just don't have the exact same billing address for all your Nike accounts. Try to make some small changes here and there. Your name should also not be the same. So I had Chinwei as my previous Nike account. So maybe this account I can put it as a random name like Richard. However, for your phone number in your billing address, you can use the same number up to five times. So you are allowed to have five Nike accounts with the same phone number under your billing address. So now you should repeat the SFA extension process. Log into your SFA account and add a new Nike profile. After adding the account at sneakersforall.com, go back to the extension and click sync. And you should be ready to cop. Go back to Sneakers for All and both accounts statuses should be ready to cop. This is how you can add unlimited accounts to SFA. When SFA has a new update, you can download it here. Open your previous version SFA file and open the new version you just downloaded. Select all the files from the new version and move them to your previous one. Replace them and you're good to go. Finally, restart your computer. And after restarting, open back your browser with SFA extension installed and check back the version number. It should be updated. Alright guys, hope this video helped you out with your sign up. If you still have any questions, you can join their Discord group. Also, do shout them out in your socials if you caught some sneakers. If you would like an invite, you can find me on my socials as well. DM me and I'll send you the invite link. Good luck copying.